Alright guys, that did hurt just a little bit. So this week we're learning how to choose our words wisely, to think before we speak. And as we're working on self-control, I thought some tape might help me. Oh, I've kind of been getting a rash this week with that, but I think it might be worth it. Just, just run with me here. So I've been quick to say things that I don't mean and later I have to call a friend or a neighbor or my kids or my mom, my dad, pretty much everybody I know. And I've had to apologize and say, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I really didn't mean to hurt your feelings. But as I realize those words get out and they go into somebody's ears and eventually their heart and they're still affected by my words. So I thought maybe some tape might be good. I've kind of been walking around the house with some tape and note to self, try to use some like um, thin painter's tape. <sighs> I had a breakout from this stuff. Don't use it, don't, it's too much. Don't use packing tape. Just if you decide to do this, you know, get, get some light tape. But it did make me think before I talk because I couldn't talk actually. At one time I had it on too tight and I was like, I was really trying to say, the stove is on fire and I couldn't get to it fast. So, you know, put it on loosely, you know, you know. <laughs> All right, it might be silly, but it's helping me kind of think a little bit before I talk, especially when I'm around some people that are kind of difficult for me. And I feel like sometimes I have a lot of those people in my life and it must be a lesson God needs me to keep learning kind of take a long time to learn things. How are you guys doing with self-control? Self-control, remember? Choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Bottom line, always being ready to do the right thing. It's so hard, but I think if I keep working, keep practicing, with or without tape, I'm gonna do a little bit better. Good luck to you guys too. See you today at Grove Kids. Love you guys. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, Inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 18. King Solomon was one of the wisest men who ever lived, and like any parent, he wanted to pass that wisdom down to his children. So he collected many wise sayings that were later written down in the book of Proverbs. My son, listen to your father's advice. Don't turn away from your mother's teaching. What they teach you will be like a beautiful crown on your head. Solomon's children were royalty, but Solomon was more concerned with the choices they would make than whatever royal robe or crown they would wear. My son, accept my words. Store up my commands inside you. Let your ears listen to wisdom. Apply your heart to understanding. There are hundreds of wise sayings in Proverbs, and a lot of them mention the same thing over and over and over. Your words. Yep. You remember that old saying? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Meh. Not true. What comes out of your mouth is strong and powerful. Words can end a friendship. It can make people believe a lie. It can make people lose their trust in you. Here's what King Solomon had to say about it. The words of thoughtless people cut like swords. But the tongue of wise people brings healing. This is my double sword, commonly known as, yeah, scissors. 
Now, you might think that one tiny little comment might not really hurt anyone. That was a dumb thing to do. Can't you get anything right? Sorry, you can't sit here. Did you even look in the mirror? Cry, baby. No big deal, right? I mean, it's not like any of these little cuts did any real damage. But deep down inside, none of us are just one layer. We're way more complicated than a single sheet of paper. Our stories have a bunch of different layers. So when you say, Just get over it. Your words might cut way deeper than you ever imagined. Ouch! But there is a way to keep your words from slicing deep like this. Think before you speak. Take a few seconds, use your imagination. Maybe you feel like saying, You're a loser, so you'll never hear me say you're good enough. Stop. Ask yourself, How would I feel if someone said this to me? Would it hurt? If the answer is yes, keep your mouth shut. Or better yet, change those words. You're good enough, so you'll never hear me say you're a loser. Your words can encourage and comfort. They can speak truth and bring wisdom. Hey, can I help? I'm really sorry you're having a rough day. I want you on my team. I love the way you always pick bright colors. You're really brave. Your words are so strong, they can make someone's day and help heal some pretty deep cuts. In fact, your words are one of the very best ways to fulfill the mission Jesus gave us. Love one another, just as I have loved you. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. Your words are your superpower. So, before you let a single word out of that mouth today, ask yourself. Is it gonna hurt? Or is it gonna help? Like Solomon reminds us, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help, you're always there for me Wherever you lead me I can follow you God, you're always there for me Oh God, you're always there for me Help me believe you know what's best for me I feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah One life to live and I wanna live it your way Whenever I'm lost and I don't know where to turn God, you're always there for me Wherever I go, you're always by my side God, you're always there for me Oh, God, you're always there for me So help me believe you know what's best for me I feel it in my soul when you are to live it, I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, I do what I should do. When you help me choose, I got one life to live it, I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah, I got one life to live it, I wanna live it your way. Oh yeah. Yeah. God help us to be more like you. Cause your way is the best way. I feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah, I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah, I feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah, I do what I should do when you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah, I got 
Thank you.